Right, so you haven't fought for roughly about a year now. That can have advantages and disadvantages. What positives are you taking from that? I think that, you know, I really needed that time. It was kind of like a forced rest period, and uh, it really allowed me to get healthy physically, mentally, emotionally, and um, I'm in the best kind of mind frame right now, mindset. I think everything happens for a reason. Good to ask. At your age, you're the champion of the world, you're unbeaten, you had a crazy car crash, you didn't get that hurt. Are you superwoman? No. <laughs> No, I mean, I'm not. I'm, I'm a regular human being, just like all of you guys, and uh, I go through my ups and downs, but uh, I think what being a true champion is, is uh, being faced with these kind of adversities and being able to overcome them. When you couldn't train day in, day out like you used to, what did you do? Uh, you know, I had a lot of time to do self-reflection, uh, a lot of time with my family, my dog Rocky. You know, it was nice to just uh, be an, a normal person, you know. Did you have a complete break or were there little things you could work on? No, man, for, you know, since November, December, January, I, I had a complete break. What did you make of May's fight against Gina Ineog back in November when obviously you were supposed to fight her? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I was definitely watching that fight, keeping an eye out for it because I knew that our rematch was bound to happen sometime. Um, I think that, you know, you, you could see from that fight she was working heavily on her ground. Um, you know, as expected, she just got her a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. How many times have you watched the fight back with May? Uh, too many times to count. <laughs> That's my next one. How much do you study your opponent or do you rely on your team to do it or both of you? Uh, we both do it. Um, we do it together, individually, and I think it's important to do, but not obsess over. You know, of course, because it's old footage, um, you don't know what kind of improvements they've made since then. Um, how would it really mean to you, for you and Christian, to walk away Friday night, both as champions of the world? It'll be a dream come true, man. We're looking to make history. May's never been stopped. How do you stop her? Hey man, my name is called Unstoppable for a reason and uh, I know that she's been working hard but I've been working harder and uh, I'm going to defend my belt once again here in Singapore. Well, good luck, really can't wait for it. Thank you very much again, thank, thank you. you.